Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Man Cake. My name is Dan, and today we're gonna to be making a classic, banana cream pie. And it's just gonna be another pie on our Battle of the Pie series, where you vote for the best holiday pie, and I get it in the face at the end of November. It's a win-win for everybody. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And like any pie pictures or videos on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Pinterest. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. This way you know when brand new recipes are available and you can be the first ones to try them out. Now to get started, we're gonna have to blind bake our pie crust. Now I've already pre-made the pie crust and if you'd like to use this pie crust, you can go ahead and follow along to the pumpkin pie recipe. And I'll place the little eye over here or one of the corners, I forget where they are. So how the blind baking works is we're gonna go ahead and roll out our pie crust, throw it into our pie pan, give it a little bit of weight to it. I'm gonna use rice today, but you can use marbles, or beads, whatever you have laying around the house that's not gonna bake in the oven, so to speak. And we let that bake for 30 minutes and then we get to start filling up the pie. Let's go ahead and get our pie. And then we're just gonna go ahead and roll this out so it's nice and thin. Now with that rolled out, you gotta get the pie pan. Let's go ahead and gently pick this up. Just that, form that into the pan. Now let's go ahead and just trim the excess off a little bit. A nice little pie crust haircut. Now we take just a cut out piece of parchment paper and throw that into the bottom. And get a rice. Now what the rice will do is it's gonna help prevent the pie pastry from puffing up too much and just let everything stay where it needs to stay at. This way it's nice and golden brown and flaky for a banana pie filling. So let's go ahead and bake this for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Now while the pie crust blind bakes in the oven, we can go ahead and move to the stove and start on our banana cream filling. So with the stove on a medium heat, we're gonna add into our saucepan two cups of milk Now you can use whole, soy, almond, 2% skim, a whole variety of milks you can use for this banana cream filling. It's all up to you. Then we'll add a half cup of white sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now we're just gonna go ahead and mix that up until it gets nice and bubbly. Now before that starts boiling, you're gonna go ahead and take a quarter cup out and place that in a little glass bowl and let that cool in the fridge. And then back to mixing until we get that nice boil bubble. All right. Now that we have that nice bubble going, we can go ahead and remove this off the heat. Now that we have that off the stove, let's go ahead and grab the quarter cup of the milk mixture that we placed in the fridge to chill out for a bit. Now we're gonna take that quarter cup milk mixture and add it to three egg yolks. And we're gonna go ahead and whisk that up. And then we're gonna add it into our saucepan. And then we'll just mix those eggs and milk with our other mixture. You'll kind of start seeing a, a somewhat pudding consistency, which is great because that's what we want. Now we're gonna move this back to the burner and still keep mixing. Now 
till we have a good thick pudding consistency. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and take this off the stove. Now with our banana filling off the stove, we're gonna go ahead and add in our two last ingredients. So let's add two tablespoons of butter, and mix that in. And two teaspoons of vanilla, clear or dark, whichever one you have. Now we just wanna give it a good whisk around until everything is nice and smooth and creamy. All right, now let's go ahead and get our pie crust. And there's our pie pastry. Nice and lightly golden and super flaky. It's gonna be delicious. But we gotta get the rice out first. Let's go ahead and just take a empty regular old mixing bowl. And just dump the rice. Now that we have our parchment paper and our rice out of our pie crust, cause we don't need them anymore. We're gonna go ahead and load up with lots of bananas. I'm using four today. Cover with our pudding mix. We're on our way to almost done. So let's get some bananas. Now we're gonna go ahead and cover our bananas with our pudding. all that yummy goodness out. And just spread it about. And there's our banana cream pie. Not ready to eat yet though. We gotta cover it with saran wrap so it doesn't get that weird it, pudding skin. Is that what people call it? Pudding skin? Does not sound appetizing. So we're gonna cover that with saran wrap and let it chill out and set in the fridge for about two to three hours. All right, let's go ahead and chill. Okay, so our pie set, it's chilled, it's ready for the taste test. And I do have some of the homemade whipped cream left over from the key lime pie we just made. So let's go ahead and use some of that for here, because why not? Let's do some Nice little trim. Now, let's just slice right into it and eat it. I always hate getting that first slice out. And because the first slice turned out a little bit messy, Let's go ahead and try to pretty it up with a little bit of whipped cream for YouTube. Perfect. It's gonna taste so good nonetheless. Let's get a good yummy banana bite here. It's amazing banana cream pie. Well, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, click that subscribe button so you know when brand new recipes are available. And don't forget to check out this pie on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest so we get to find out what pie gets thrown in my face at the end of the month. Until next week, bye.